it's a photo Friday. Uh, looking for some photos today. Uh, <laughs> missed the sunrise again, doggone it. Uh, but I found the fog. So that's kind of fun. I'm at Marymore Park, uh, the Audubon Trail area, and there is a ton of really dense fog. So I'm gonna walk around for a bit, see what photos we can find, I can find to show you. And then uh, we'll see what's next. Let's go find some fog. I think that went pretty well. The fog stayed for quite a while. It's, it's amazing how when uh, the atmosphere, the environment uh, changes, it changes the way everything looks. Uh, when the light changes on a foggy day like this, it transforms these leafless trees into something else and gives great background for um, these spider webs with the frost, or not frost, the dew on them. Uh, so, oh my goodness, that was fun. Uh, got a couple birds, some starlings, and some robins, I think. Uh, not much else. Most of the trail was closed due to our recent flooding, but uh, I'd hope to get to the lake, but I didn't get that far. So, onwards, we're gonna go see what else we can find. Well, there you have it. Four hours of me following the fog in four locations. It's a lot of alliteration. You're welcome. Anyway, I had a ton of fun with this. Uh, it was so exciting to come down our hill, uh, drop down about 500 feet, uh, and then see the fog happening. Uh, and I knew there were so many possibilities. Uh, just another great atmosphere to go to locations I've photographed quite frequently and then to see how they're just totally transformed uh, it is so much fun. Uh, I think I took about, I know I took about 500 photos. Uh, a lot of those uh, were sequences of birds flying when I was trying to capture them in flight. I didn't do too well. I got to work on my technique and settings on that a little bit, but um came back just so excited to see how the photos looked and um, it's amazing how 
uh, just that different atmosphere can help create uh, more interest in locations that I've been to lots and lots. So I hope that's a good lesson for you. Watch for the atmosphere to change. Watch for something different. Um, and above all else, if you get a chance, go out and create some photos. It, uh, it literally changes, at least for me, it changes my day. So I hope you're able to do that. Uh, if you have thoughts and comments on these photos, uh, you know I'd love to receive those. Uh, it's been fun having some conversations with you all about these photos and this uh, kind of new style of doing uh, videos here on YouTube. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, these photos will be available via a link below uh, where you can look at all of them plus a few more um, and see them full size without uh, the YouTube compression so you get to see them a little bit larger and betterer. Uh, so I hope you are doing well. I hope the new year's off to a good start for you that we're a few weeks into. And I hope you're able to get a lot of opportunities to create photos in the midst of all the still ongoing craziness in the world. Uh, as I've mentioned before, I find photography and creating in general is just such a good thing for my soul, for my well-being, and uh, for all the things in my life. So I'm really grateful for these opportunities to create photos and uh, share them with you. Um, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate if you hit that old thumbs up button. Uh, it lets YouTube know about uh, videos that you enjoy so you'll get to hopefully see more of them. And if you enjoyed it that much, why not go ahead and go to that button just to the right, that red button that says subscribe, and then you'll get to see more videos like this about once a week. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you there. If you have comments, thoughts, suggestions, feedback, donut ideas, just let me know in the comments below and uh, we'll have a conversation and I look forward to that. So as always, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.